Welcome to another installment of TPM's 4-Minute Fridays. My name is Bruce Harris. I'm a Senior Application Engineer at TPM. And today's topic is creating a clearance object in Revit. Now what I'm going to do over here in Revit is insert a piece of mechanical equipment. Really wouldn't matter what kind of uh, piece of equipment that it was. Um, the concept that I'm going to show you would work the same for all kinds of different pieces of equipment. Now, what we want to do is we want to place a clearance object over here. Let's say there is a maintenance door here, and we want to create a clearance object on that that allows us to make sure that that maintenance door can fully open and people have access to it. So I'm going to edit this family. Now what we are not going to do today is go deep into family editing and show all the different functionalities and parameters of setting up our parametric objects. That is not what we're going to do today. We're going to show the, a very simple concept of how to create a clearance object. Now I'm going to go into this front view and I'm just going to, well, let's click on the object first, I'm going to hide that category of objects, just get a little cleaner view, and we're going to draw our clearance object here. Now when I create it, I'm going to create it with an extrusion, not with line work, because I want it to be a solid object so that we can do interference checks with it. So I'm just going to draw this thing, and I'm basically I'm going to draw a one foot square here basically. And let's finish that. Now it's in the right place in this view, but it's not in the right place here. So in here, I'm just going to drag it out and drag this out. Then I'm going to use the align command and say this face, I want to align that face to it and lock it. Then I'm going to get out of the line and click on this object and change its depth to one foot. So now we have our one foot square out here. Now, we've created the clearance object, the extrusion that's going to be the clearance object, but we haven't done anything uh, fancy with it yet. So let me load this into the project and show you the negatives of using it as is. So we're going to load it in here and override our existing one. And now, here it is. We sure enough have a clearance object here. But the problem is, with that clearance object, if I go into Visibility Graphics under my Mechanical Equipment, I have one subcategory called Hidden Lines. And I have no ability to turn off my clearance object without turning off my Mechanical Equipment. So I can turn off my Mechanical Equipment, which obviously will turn off both but I can't turn off my clearance object independent of that. Not only can I not turn it off, but I can't have it appear differently. In my case, I want to appear with a red color and a dashed line type so I can see this is a clearance object. It's not a, you know, it's not a regular part of the physical object. So we're going to go back and edit this family again. And under Manage, we're going to go into something called Object Styles. Now what we're going to do is create a subcategory of a model object underneath mechanical equipment. So I'm going to click on new here. And create a subcategory called clearance. I'm going to change its color and its line pattern. Now when I select this square, I can go over here and change its subcategory from None to Clearance. And you'll notice in here now it is red with a different line type. So now what we want to do is load this back into our project. So let's go Load into Project. And we're going to override our existing one. Now back in our project, notice that now it is red in our project and has that dashed line type. And if I go into Visibility Graphics here, I now have a new subcategory called Clearance.
and this allows me to turn off my clearance separately from my object. So in some views I may want to see it, other views I may not want to see it. Now to go along with the interference check part of it, let's, let's look at that real quick. I'm just going to draw a piece of pipe and let's draw a small piece of pipe. I don't need something big. Uh, and let's go right through here with it. And let's go ahead and go into fine mode so I can see it as a double line. Now this pipe is at a 9 foot and my VAV box is also at 9 foot. So we should have an interference here. So we're going to go over to our collaborate tab of the ribbon go into interference check and run an interference check and we're going to interfere we're going to run an interference check between mechanical equipment and pipes and sure enough we have an interference and if I click on it it will highlight it as a matter of fact if this was a large drawing and I was in a different view um, I could click on show and it would zoom me take me to a view and zoom me into the clearance all right, now I'm going to close that, and I'm just going to change the elevation of my pipe real quick. Let's, whoops, helps if you click on it first. Let's change it to 6, so now it is below my VAV box. So I'm going to go back into interference check. I don't need to run it again. I just need to show my last report and refresh it, and if it goes away, it's fixed. If it doesn't go away, it's not fixed. So I'm going to click on refresh and sure enough it went away. So that's why we wanted a volume there. That's why we did an extrude rather than line work there. This has been a presentation on creating a clearance object in Revit. This has been another presentation in the series of Four Minute Fridays from TPM. My name is Bruce Harris and I want to thank you for joining us and invite you to come back and watch again. Thank you.